right, guys. So Northern Tool reached out to me for a great opportunity. Um, they sent me some power tools. A couple of them came in just right now. Um, so it's a new line that they're coming out with that's by Clutch. So they wanted me to basically try them out, review them, and uh, see how they work. So let's go and get these opened and uh, we'll see. So all right, guys, here it is. We got the Clutch half inch uh, high torque impact wrench kit, the grease gun kit, and then the four and a half inch angle grinder kit. So this is their 20 volt lineup. Now, as far as why they reached out to me, I have no idea. They saw my page on Instagram, if you're followers. Um, they thought it would be a great opportunity. I gladly accepted. Um, I told them I would gladly, uh, you know, try out these tools. And so here they are. So there's your part numbers right there. This is for the angle grinder kit. For the grease gun. And then the high torque impact wrench kit. Let's go ahead and get these opened up. All right, so we're gonna start off with the uh, impact wrench kit. Now it does come in this nice carrying case. It is a zippered case. It's got handles on both sides. So you can easily throw this in your vehicle. Take it out to the racetrack. Take it along with you on the road trip. Whatever you wanna do. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. All right, inside contents. We've got the owner's manual. I believe this is the battery. So it does come with one battery. So we put it aside. There's some packaging. And then your impact wrench. And this is probably the charger. All right, guys. So we got the battery. It does have a battery life indicator. So as you see, this one's fully charged, four bars. And then you have your impact wrench. And with high torque models, um, it's normally a bigger one as compared to the mid torque, where it's a little bit slightly shorter. So there's that. But it's got a nice ergonomic handle. Now, obviously, I'm going to review this and see how I like it um, in comparison to my Milwaukee ones and see how it does, performs, how it feels overall. Do I get fatigued using it? So there's that. And then it comes with a charger. So this is the rapid charger. Um, it doesn't say how fast it will charge, but let's take a look at the back. So 20 volt rapid charger. Um, I did look through the manual. It didn't say anything as far as how long it would take. So what we'll probably do long-term review is once we use the tool, we'll place it on the charger, see how long it actually takes to, to charge the battery up fully. All right, next up, we got the four and a half inch grinder. Now in the box, you got the user's manual. It's got a five inch metal grinding wheel and then your handle and then the tool itself. So on here, you can control the speeds, high, medium, low. And I do like this where the trigger's down here. So you got your safety switch, press release and then you release. So that is a good feature right there. And then installation. This is your lock. Unlock so that way you can remove that. All right. All right, so this is probably my most favorite one or most anticipated one that I was looking forward to, look, to using and receiving. So this is the cordless grease gun. So there's where you put your battery. Your lock unlock. So there's the hose itself. Accessories. 
So you get different fittings on there. You get your strap holding it. Now, I've been using manual uh, grease guns my whole life. Um, this is my first cordless one. So it is something definitely, I would, like I said, I was looking forward to, to receiving and trying out. Um, so it does get a display up here. Let's put this battery in. So. But this is an overview of it. Once I get everything kind of figured out. So there it goes. So high and low. So we'll get some grease for this and then we'll definitely put that to use. All right guys, so that is the bundle of tools that I received. Got the grease gun, got the angle grinder, and then the impact wrench. So as soon as we start using these, we'll do some videos, um, some footage of it, and then obviously I'll post some photos online. All right guys, stay tuned. All right guys, so one thing I failed to mention was these tools are brushless. So this is their brushless line. So. Now let's see. Now you can change the settings. Let's see what setting this is on. Let's get in the light here. All right, so let's see if we can figure that out. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. So let's take a look at the manual. All right, so over there it says, after the trigger switch is turned on, where it says denote, the power and speed indicator lights will light up so that you can actually start to press the speed control button to adjust the speed. So that confirms that right there. And there's a diagram. guys if you're getting a loud whining noise while driving and it only happens while you're in motion but not when you're sitting idle could be your wheel bearings now the, this one i've already replaced the front this back one if you can hear it it's pretty loud just by hand so we're gonna get this rear one in place too on both sides what's going on guys so first off, let me go ahead and uh, get on into this. So I'm going to give a three week review on this. So, I mean, let me go ahead and face back on it. Um, three week review. So overall consensus on this uh, high torque impact is definitely a buy on it. Now, you know, some set may say that I'm biased because I was uh, given this tool to be to try out or whatever. But honestly, um, let me go ahead and give this uh, my opinion. And y'all, y'all know that y'all should know if y'all been following my channel that you know I'm I'm pretty honest about uh, tools. Um, the last time I was given a set of tools was the Ulsa wrench tool set. Um, I gave my honest feedback on it. I didn't really like it. Uh, just because for the money that they were charging back then, um, it wasn't worth the money. Anyways, so back to this. So uh, when Clutch reached out to me, um, they said, hey, you know, I'm going to send you this impact wrench set. Can you try it out and give a review on it? And I said, sure. Um, and honestly, that's what I'm doing. So you all have seen the videos as far as uh, me utilizing it. Now, I've, I've used it for, you know, removing wheel lugs, tires um suspension work uh you know strut bolts axle nuts so i've used it for motor mounts so pretty much you know 
across the board on a vehicle, stuff that you would use daily. Now, let's let's break it up into two categories for DIY, home use, and then professional settings. Now, for DIY, home use, I would say 100%, this is definitely a good option. You know, it, it's, it, the reason I say that is because, um, it's price the the package uh, price is very good for two hundred nineteen dollars uh, I believe that should be correct you're getting the tool itself uh, the battery and this rapid charger okay now if you no if you notice here it's not plugged in it's still tied up from the from the original time I've got it so after three weeks of use I've still got three bars on this thing. You know, so it's a four amp hour battery. So you can see right there, 20 volt lithium ion battery. That is very impressive. Okay. Now, you know, I'm using this on Hondas, you know, a little sedans, coupes and stuff like that. Acuras. So uh, as far as uh, the torque, the fasteners, the torque amount, I mean, it's obviously not gonna be high as like a pickup truck or, you know, uh, something that's, that, that requires a little bit more effort or whatever. But for for the amount of time that I've, I've used this tool, it's it's been great. So, sorry if my camera's shaky. I'm just doing hand gestures. But anyway, so really impressed with that. Um, and, the, and obviously this is my first half inch high torque. So the amount of power compared to my mid torque. Now, obviously this is going to take a little bit more effort on this tool versus this tool. So that's why, that's probably primarily why as well the, the battery life hasn't um, drained as much as normally this one would because it would take a little bit more. Now, if I went to my, my other high torque, which is a three quarter inch, which I don't use as often, um, probably maybe in the same playing field. Okay. But anyway, so, uh, for DIY home homeowner use, I would definitely recommend this tool. Um, you know, you're probably going to be taking off, you know, your, your wheel lugs, um, doing some, you know, changing out your shocks or struts or whatever. So this is going to be perfect for that. Um, you know, it's not going to break the bank. I mean, for a package deal on this is still less than even buying a brand new mid torque from Milwaukee. Now, obviously what you're going to have to consider is, uh, what other tools are you going to buy? You know, I've, I've reached out back to Northern tool and said, Hey, look, um, on my, on my post, I, I, when I tagged them, I said, Hey, you know, if you're going to want more customers, you're definitely going to have to release more tools. Um, for instance, like this, uh, my Bauer, I just picked this thing up. Uh, now this is a half inch uh, ratchet because I've already got a three quarter and a, uh, and a, a three eighths and a quarter inch uh, ratchet. If they want to be in the market and, and reach out to other customers, they need to release, um, you know, other variety of, uh, in their lineup, like ratchets, um, maybe a mid torque, maybe a stubby. So stuff like that, you know, those, those are things that, okay, it's great that they're, they're coming out with this. I don't know what their plans are long-term or even short-term, but they need to release more tools that will appeal to the market. Okay. That was, that was the whole reason why I actually went with Milwaukee. Um, I was originally a DeWalt guy, you know, I was in the construction field for a while when I was younger. Um, all my power tools were DeWalt. So but when the time came and I started doing automotive work, you know, I looked around, I shopped online. I was like, look, DeWalt doesn't have anything. I even reached out to them. It was over like a decade ago. And I said, hey, look, are y'all gonna have any cordless ratchets come out? And they came back to me and said, no, we don't have any plans to right now at the moment. So I was like, all right, cool. I ended up, you know, giving away my DeWalt stuff to my brother. Um, and I went and started purchasing Milwaukee stuff. And that's how that, that whole uh, 
journey started. Now, as time gone as time has gone by, I've obviously um, purchased other stuff like from Bauer, a little bit of Craftsman stuff. Now, this is mainly my only probably Craftsman cordless tool that I have, which is the underhood light. I only bought that because of the price point. Um, other than that, I probably would have bought Milwaukee, but this was probably less than a third of the price when I paid for it. Okay, so, but as far as my daily drivers and my high usage tools, I go with Milwaukee. Anything um, that I don't use as often, like the you know glue gun back there, I got a heat gun. Um, I went with Bauer, and their their stuff has been great for me. Uh, the cordless ratchet, I only went with that because it's a half inch. Milwaukee doesn't offer a half inch um, that I can think of. I could be wrong. But anyways, for the for fifty nine dollars, I'm just going to use that for mainly suspension work. So again, you know, it's not going to be, you know, depending on what kind of vehicle I'm working on, that's only going to come to play every once in a while. All right, so back to this. Now, as for professional setting, I would say if you're only gonna buy a cordless half inch and that's all you're looking for, yes. But if I was uh, if I was purchasing for a professional setup, I would not recommend this yet because like I said, there isn't a variety of tools yet. Um, they do have this cordless grease gun, which I haven't uh, tried out yet. I did buy the grease tube already. And then, one second. And then we got the angle grinder. So that's pretty much what they have in their cordless setup right now. So again, that's going to be that's going to be the only options you have. So it's not going to be very appealing to to branch out to them yet. Now, hopefully, in the future, if they do and they say yes, we're going to come out with more tools. Then yeah, I would say hey, you know, it's a good option. But for me, it's like, hey, you know, most most professionals want the same battery lineup so that way they're not having, you know, multiple chargers, <clears throat> multiple chargers, excuse me. Um, you know, it's easier to buy one set of batteries and instead of, you know, okay, if, if my budget allows me, you know, my tool already comes with one battery, I can buy a backup one. So now I have two. It can power all my, my power tools. But now if I have to buy multiple, that's going to become expensive. So, you know, the, a lot of new guys, techs or whatever, you know, their, their, their budget is limited. So, you know, they want to get their best bang for the buck, you know, cause I may not need this angle grinder yet. And I may not need the grease gun, you know, I can get away with, um, uh, a manual one. So that's going to be a lot cheaper. So those are things that, you know, when these companies come out with tools, that's what they need to consider. So hopefully they do consider that um, and um, start releasing other other options. Now, obviously, you know, it costs money for a company to do that. But, you know, if they want to get into that market, they're going to have to. And honestly, you know, coming into the market right now, especially with you know Milwaukee already having so many tools out there, DeWalt the same thing, Snap On if you're going to go in the tool truck brand, Mac Tools. Uh, now obviously with Mac Tools you can utilize the DeWalt battery lineup, but <clears throat> again, oops, sorry about that. My my phone uh stick or whatever went out on me. So again, uh, back to where I was. Um, Tool varieties. So yeah, I mean, if, if they decide to release a different variety of tools, that's going to be great for them. Um, but again, you know, they're going to have to, you know, market it really well, price point it really well. Um, and as far as the tool quality itself, I see no issues with that. Um, they've done great on that. You know, this thing is robust. The battery life is great. Um, the technology on it is pretty good. So... Now, will they release one key or something like that? Where uh, I don't, I don't even use one key on my tools. Uh, I think, I think my only my three quarter inch has that right now. But you know, as far as for basic use, this thing is great. Brushless motor. Um, it, it's it's bare bones, but it it does the job, and I I really like that. Um, I did tell on them on the review that you know they kind of got to work on the balance of it. Um, 
holding it, I do feel the weight towards here. Um, when you hold Milwaukee, you can feel that weight kind of balance where it, it trickles back towards your hand. So that way you're, it's more steady. So those are things that they have, you know, hopefully they can update into their newer models. But you know, again, it's, it's a new lineup. So they're still doing research development and all that stuff to make sure, you know, how it works in the field. So yeah, that is my consensus. If you're a DIYer, if you're a homeowner, I would say this is definitely a great option for you. Um, to use at home, it's gonna do everything you need to do across the board. Um, so that's definitely an option as far as for professionals, you know, <clears throat> shop the market. Um, it's a good option if you're okay with just having an impact wrench, um, you know, and just taking off wheel lugs, you know, for, for lube tech guys, this is great. This is a great option, okay? So, all right guys. I uh, appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all listening to the review. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or whatever, please leave them below. I'll try to answer them all. Um, so, yeah, y'all take care.